on the Great White Grout alongside Torwin. Torwin is ready to face his past. I agree. And let's do this. Torvin! away from the ground. I don't even know, mate. How am I supposed to fucking do this? This is the easy part. There you go. Ooh, oh, fucking hell, that was close. I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Down. Whatever happens during the hunt, think, what would Torben do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks. Or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Graug holds you there. I'm ready to fight the Graug. And that's just what you do. Fight. No art. No finesse. The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing. It's bigger than that. But from your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Graug is very, very big. Oh, oh wait. You're mocking me. Graugs are one of the oldest species of Mordor. And the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this crowd. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a crowd from Mount Dolmed to Nogrog. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The growl knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this growl for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty growl will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torben the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. Yeah, we're here, bro. Oh Whoa. my god. The corridors are too quiet. I don't think the Graug is home. We go in and we wait. An ambush? How military. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. 
Next. That's just as sharp as a day our father made it. <laughs> oh, artifact. What? It's too strong. I must attack from afar. A shot to the skull will disorient him. Yeah, I, I know how to fucking shoot, bro. the quick time events okay not quick time events I guess he's awake oh fucking helmet are you mad Why do we fucking... There you go. There you go. Ah, nice. Yeah, mate, I don't.
while we mount them. Or attack, whatever. Whoa! In fact, this is easier than I first thought. Okay, you're not regaining health, mate. Come on, mate. There you go. And oh, almost dead. Fucking annoy me, bitch. Okay, more ever. Ever. Oh, oh, you're mad. Are oh, you fucking mad? I'm gonna fucking fuck you, fucking fuck. I think it's not the official end of
sticky state. <laughs> ah! 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 Well, that's what I call big dancing, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time I have other plans to pursue. Well, you need help when you're journeying. So what you say is worth no, some no, 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 Torben. I could do this on my own. <laughs> if you survive, <coughs> come near the Blue Mountain with me. <laughs> Your friends, they will drink until their kegs run dry. I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Yeah, guys, I think that's the end of the mission. And we'll get it officially now, I think. But anyways, yeah, this was a longer-ish episode. 17, 15 minutes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.